This is going to be video number 39 on your Firearms Defense channel. And I think this is going to be a relatively short video because it's going to be a one subject video as is video number 40. So I'll start right in on the, the uh, subject here now. Uh, there's a lot of organizations out there that uh, want to work within the political system to try to maintain our Second Amendment rights and uh, so forth. And uh, we, uh, we try to have understandings with uh, law enforcement, uh, with the politicians. We have bills, we have compromises, we have stuff like this. I'll give you a prime example. Everywhere else in the United States, I can buy a 13-round magazine for my uh, Glock 21. I mean, there might be one or two other states that I can't, but uh, every other place just about I can buy a 13-round magazine. California, I can't. I can only buy a 10-round magazine. Now, that's absurd on the surface because, I mean, what's really the big difference between 10 and 13 rounds? But now, that's an insidious thought process. How this started out, it starts out that the liberals want to take our guns away, period. They want to outlaw firearms for the law-abiding citizens and not allow us to even have them. And, you know, only the predators have uh, guns then and the uh, law enforcement people. So that's how it starts out. Then they negotiate all these bills and committee and stuff like that. And it starts, well, you know, maybe if... Uh, we cut down the magazine capacity, you know. Uh, a lot of these gangbangers have 50 round magazine capacities and if we make everything but 10 rounds illegal, you know, we, we can compromise on that and we can live with that, you know. So, uh, so that's how they decide these things and what this is, it's just a slow, insidious, uh, insidious uh, taking away of our uh, Second Amendment rights and that's, that's how it goes all down the line. And one day, somebody will knock on your door and say, uh, we just uh, passed the firearms confiscations bill. We're here for all the weapons that are registered to you. And uh, at that choice, the game's over, you know. That's the way it is. So, as far as I'm concerned, the liberals, and specifically Harry Reid, uh, Barbara Boxer, Nancy Pelosi, Barack Obama, all the... Uh, Democrats in the Senate and the Congress, all the liberals are the forces of tyranny. There can be no compromise and there can be no negotiation with these people. We've got to stand up and be counted and stand up and say, no, you're not taking away our Second Amendment rights. We draw the line in the sand. It's there. And that's where it's got to be and that's uh, what we're going to have to do. And uh, like I say, that's where it's at. There can be no compromise with these people. Either we have Second Amendment rights to keep and bear arms, or we don't. Either we have a police state, or we don't. Either we're under the thumb of tyranny, or we're not. And that's, it's just about that simple, and that's all it amounts to. So I'm going to close out this video 39 here, and I'm going to go on to video 40.